Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode, so let's get to it. Also not quite sure if I've got that lined up correctly now. I probably haven't. I'll bring that down there. And I go like that. There we go. Let's try that. Is that, is that, is that going to do it? It's going to be touch and go. Is it going to do it? Oh, look at that. It's just, it's just making the join right the way across there. You, you tend to find out more if you look into the distance. It does show up. It's not showing up anything on there. It's not showing up anything on the map either. I think we've done it. I think we just managed to do it. So it'll go up and it'll go back round. I think then what I'll do is I'll go up this side and I'll start working that way all the way down. And then we can get this field done. I don't want to fast forward time at the moment because I don't have row crops on. We will get row crop. Actually, I'll tell you what. Does this? I don't even know if this one takes row crops. I can't remember now. I know that the case takes row crops. So we'll take you right here. Oops. I don't want to do that. I want to leave that one off. And I'll run this one over to our workshop over here while the Deutz is busy with the fence. Sorry, not the Deutz. Fent is busy working up in the field. We'll bring this one down over here and we will swap out and we will put the row crop tires onto this tractor. And stop you there a minute. And I come over here. And I go to customize. And we will go standards, wheel weights, narrow. Ooh. I'm going narrow twins this time, I think. I probably have done this a few times already. Ooh. Steady. Steady, I don't know what you try I don't know what you're playing out there, Sunshine, but yet narrow that was the right choice. Ah, it was definitely the right choice. It looks very I, there's something about the narrow twin wheels. They look weird, but at the same time they look quite cool as well. So we'll use that one, and then that's ready to go now with the fertilizer spreader. So when we bring the fertilizer back down from the top, we've got our tractor all ready to go. He can sit right there, he's ready to go first thing in the morning. And we come up here over to you so i was just going to let this one run all the way out and finish that bit like that and i'm going to go all the way up the other end of the field and i'm going to start working from the top end down and spread all the f and spread the rest of this field once this one's done yeah then we can yeah we'll have to f we will have to start fast forwarding time again just so that we can get the other bit up and round. I'm going to need to bring that up a little bit more. I think maybe about there. Like that. Um, so, the next map. Um, it's not going to be Welker Farms. Okay, I've had several people asking for Welker Farms. And no, it's not going to be Welker Farms. Even though I'm doing it on a big scale and I know Welker Farms is for big scale. The exact same reason I'm not doing it for Oatfield Farm either. Everybody has already done it to death. The, the Welker Farms hasn't even come out yet for FS19. It's already been done to death. Um, well, it, by the time this video goes out, it may have come out. I don't really know. Um, but those ones, they're done to death like the day they're released. So I'm not planning to do a longer series. I don't know how long our big scale series is going to be. Uh, we would like to be able to make a big chunk of money and we would like to be able to get a large number of cattle and pigs on there. I'm just not quite sure how long I'll do it. I will just play that one by ear. I wasn't planning on asking many questions for that one. I'm just literally going to play it by ear and uh, see what people are saying in the comments as time goes on. Because the comments do tend to change week by week. Like... Some people, they'll say one thing one week, and then a couple of weeks later, they sort of, well, actually, no, you're right. You know, we, we, we've kind of had enough of this. Um, it's about time to move it on. Like, right now, I'm thinking we've probably had about enough of doing the fertilizer spreading, because this is going to, we, we've been doing this for a fair while now. We've done all the field down there, and we've gone all the way around this one, and we're still going with fertilizer spreading, because it's about time to wrap it up. But at the same time, I've still got a lot of fertilizer spreading still to do, so... I'm sort of thinking, well, I, I need to do the fertilizer spreading. But also, I don't want to spend too much time in the episode doing the fertilizer spreading. So then I'm I'm at, I'm at a bit of... I, I have a bit of a quandary. What do I do? Because I can't leave it. 
I could just sit here and do it in my own time. Um, but that's rather difficult for me to do these days because um, of just how much recording I do. I can't do very much behind the scenes. I literally don't have time for it. Um, but I will do a little bit of this. Just just for you, as you've all asked so nicely, and I know that you don't want to just watch this thing driving up and down a field, I, I will do that. Actually, I just thought, I know what I can do. I can start fast-forwarding time a little bit. Uh, help a deer's completed their task. Yeah, that's, that's the only reason I'm a bit wary of fast-forwarding too much time while I'm doing this, is because he's going to finish his task, and then the crop will grow, and... I will end up with a strip, and there we're going to end up with a strip of fertilizer missing if we do it like that. So I need to go on a little bit more and then do it again. That's better. Right. Match that one up. Bunker's silo is done fermenting. Not going to crack that baby open tonight. I will wait till the morning, and then we will break that one open. And we will start unloading that for uh, silage, and we will start putting that into... Actually, you know what? Maybe we should... We can leave this one to carry on doing what it's doing. Let's just check the prices a sec. Oh, no, because the, pr the prices stay the same, don't they? Bunker side is 600. Regardless, it stays at 600. The other one's now climbing up rapidly. It doesn't want to be left behind. So that one's increasing in price quite quickly. But no, 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 no. What we want to do is we want to go to that one. We want to unhitch that lizard, lizard flat deck. And we want to race back up to the bunker silo up the top there and we'll get our trailer hooked on we're only going to use one we'll just use one trailer at a time i do actually now have the stevie version of that um no 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 waru mouse the, the the roper um for if this one proves to be a little bit too tedious and slow we'll, we'll find out in a minute let's bring our lorry up around here Mad driving skills up through here. And the train has just gone past. We don't have to worry about that one. Up go the barriers just as we race. It's, it's like they knew we were coming, isn't it? It's like they knew we were on our way through. And so they made way for royalty. That's all it was. They made way for some royalty. Okay, we'll bring you... We'll, 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 drift, we'll drift that one in round. I've actually seen racing... With um, lorries, I've actually seen lorries doing full-on racing where they are drifting these things around tracks. It looks really cool. It does actually look really cool. It's never going to be quite as cool as combine racing. Go and look that up. Honestly, that's the, like, that is literally the coolest thing you will ever see. Um, probably not everybody will think that's the coolest thing ever. Uh, there, there's two things that are very cool. One is speed plowing. Speed plowing is very cool. There is no two ways about it. Speed plowing is just awesome. And the other one is the combine racing. Okay, those are both very, very cool. We've got 1.144 million litres of silage in this bunker that we now need to do something with. And that's why I will very quickly consider swapping this over to a Stevie mod because just the um just this one it's gonna be very slow right this, this, this is gonna be a painfully slow process just using this because this thing is not very fast at all right this is a this is a rather slow process doing any unloading with this one but we'll bring that one over to there like that and we will run all the way around it we will go back up let me just check on here and we'll see how He's actually managed to go round and turn properly before he heads up across the field again. That's good. Quite pleased about that. Right, so he's fine and we don't need to worry about him. So what I want to do now is I want to bring this one up here. And then I'm going to back round over here. Like this. So this vehicle here, they actually have these in places like this and in other factories. They have a lorry like this. And you can see ours doesn't actually have a number plate, right? There is no number plate on this lorry. Very often they don't. They don't actually have a number plate. They are simply called the shunter and or the shunt or something like that. 
And I've seen these in all sorts of places like this, right? The shunt or the shunter, the, the, the shunting truck, the yard truck. Usually the uh, a rather battered individual that has, has taken a lot of abuse over the years. And they're used to just move trailers around the yard. That's all they do. They don't do anything other than just move trailers around the yard. So that's what we got right here is at the moment we've got a shunter. I mean, yes, admittedly our shunter going to lift that one up a little bit like that and I need the controls a second turn on loading vehicle lower loading vehicle start overloading silage press I ah, I see right it comes out of there and it goes up there we've got a little tiny slug of the stuff and into the trailer right and you can see that it is not going very fast but this one has got an impressive start overloading this one's got an impressive aoe for um picking up aoe for for those of you who aren't um big uh role play game rpg game fans um, AOE is generally known as area of effect and it's it's a big term in RPG games but you don't usually hear that much being talked about AOE in non role play games um, which has always struck me as a little bit odd because obviously AOE is, is some area of effect is something that is quite big you do hear of it and probably most of you as gamers know what AOE is but it, it just always struck me as a little bit strange that you, you don't all, you know, you don't often hear of it. If I bring that one all the way back there, like that. There. It's just so that I can keep loading it. Right, we're loading at the moment and it's actually working just fine. I can just leave it right there and it's gathering up. So we've got a big area in front of us that it is gathering up from. It's not quite taking the entire area down but it, it's fine I move that back really we should move the truck forward a bit but we know that the game works fine like that so we'll, we'll let the game do that and our fill level in the silage clamp see that's going to drop there I can't remember we've got like 80,000 and fertilizer up here we've got one strip all the way up there that we're going to fertilize and then we've got one little triangle up there that we want to go back and get in a minute We'll deal with that in a bit. Just push you up there a minute. Like that. And I've just got one little time. We, we've, we're going to have a, a piece down one side of this silage clamp that we're not going to get to. I actually think that's going to work out quite nicely. So I'm, I'm going to leave that one there. Hmm. Wondering about this. Right, let's, let's go back into here. This one is now... 85,000 litres of silage have gone in there. And all we need to do is just bring that one back around here. And I believe what we can do is we can tip it straight into the bunker using this. If we can't, we are in trouble. I really, really hope. Yes, I think we can. I think they check. They did. They did. They're letting us do it. Let me just run around this side. 50,000 litres. Hmm. That's all I can put in there at the moment. 50k. So I got 30k still in the truck. And I can put 50k in there. So I'm going to go now and go to you over here. Right. I don't know why you're reversing all the way across the field because you've actually finished just about all of it. I will drive forwards though and I'll go all the way up to the other end. Again, it does these weird things, doesn't it? The hired help, it always does these really weird, strange things. And... Is that weeds? No. I don't think that's weeds. Better not be. We better not have any weeds in our field. Weeds should be turned off. No, no, no. We weeds look different than that. That's just the, the growth pattern. Right, there's the little triangle that we didn't get done. So we'll do that one. Then we can go and take this tractor back down to the bottom. And that one's ready to give over to the next tractor so that uh, that one can come up 
in the morning and that one can do the other field and spread all the fertilizer on there. So there's another one that's done and out of the way. I'm going to need to go back over to the biogas plant and we're going to want to reload over there. But I don't think we'll worry about reloading. I will fast forward time a little bit so that we can get that truck unloaded. Uh, but then what we'll do is we'll load the next load while we've got the case busy working on the... Um, doing the other fertilizing, doing the other field over there. So let's just run this one back and fill it up and then we can swap it over and put it onto the case. And yeah, that's that's about it then. Oh, maintenance is very low. I ought to check the f I'll, I'll check the fertilizer spinner as well for maintenance on this one because I don't know if it's just a tractor. We're only we're doing. I, I can't remember if we're supposed to just be able to do 32 on this one or not. Might be a little bit more than that. Can I actually remember? So we'll put. We we'll do maintenance, put fertilizer in. We don't have enough money for either of those options. I've just looked at the price tags. So we'll, have to do, we'll have to do most of that in the morning, I think. Um, actually, I think we can do repair on there. 1,300. Tab, repair. Yes. That's just, okay, that's fine. Repair you for $5 as well. Yep. Right, so that bit is fine. What I don't have is the money to go and buy some more fertilizer. So if I just put you up by the fertilizer spreader, like that, then we will start fast forwarding time. And we can get the remaining 35,000 litres of silage that we've got in our trailer unloaded at the biogas plant. And that's going to be about it then. Right, let's stop you there. Next, I want to go over here. And I'll go to you. So the first thing that I actually want to do with this one is I want to bring it out. And I want to bring it over here. And I want to do that. I want to swap these over like this I can actually unload a little bit into there that will load the quantity that we've got on board it doesn't actually say how much we've got I know that we do carry a bit around this doesn't seem to be a great deal of it it's not telling us exactly how much we've got right so I want to just move the conveyor over like that and the reason that I want to do this is because I want to be able to gather up that side right there. So if I start that one up, and you can see instantly I'm already loading up quite a substantial amount of silage on there. And I'm actually, I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to go any further than that. I'm going to switch that one off. And I'll do it like that. So then the truck can come over on this side for the next load. And we'll be able to take it up from there. In the meantime, I can come into here, and I want to have a look. So we're up to 47, th hang on, how much do I have? I got about 40,000 litres on board. So what I really want to do is go to fast forwarding time like this. And it does fast forward, it does use up the silage pretty quickly. So I just want to leave this on 120 times speed until we get down to about 10,000 litres left inside the silage clamp. Uh, inside the facility there and then I can dump in the next load and as far as I know from what people have told me we sell at midnight every time whatever you unloaded here during the day it always sells it at midnight right so I lower that one back down again like that it's just gone have a seven bring you back there I don't need to do anything other than just unload that's the 40,000 litres that's all going to go in there. Just like that. As soon as that is unloaded, I can get back down to our house and we can sleep the night. Right. That one's done. That one's ready. It's just going to close itself back up. Just make sure it does that. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So then I will get back down to our house over here and we can sleep the night. Right. Midnight, we should get our silage. But we'll also be able to sell some more horses in the morning, which would be another great thing that we want to do. Let's go there, and it will give ourselves 13 hours. So we go to half past eight in the morning. Um, yeah, why not? Let's let's go to half past eight. We'll, we'll sleep in. That's what we'll do. We'll we'll have a little bit of a lion, right? Fifty-two thousand seven hundred ninety thousand dollars from the biogas plant, and that is from one load that's all we unloaded into there one load and we got 52 grand we've got 18 
$18,000 to our name, which is not too shabby. 18 grand is, you know, it, it could definitely be worse. And if we have a look, we just want to check our animals all the way through. So, fine for food. They've got another couple of days at least, as have they. The sheep are fine. Horses, straw, yeah, they've got a couple of days worth. And, wait a minute, their productivity, oh no, the product, no. Yeah, 85% they're on for the productivity. Wait, that should be higher. Why is that? Still only on... Oh, of course. Yeah, they were 75. They're now 85. These ones here are 95. I'm selling mine at 95 rather than um, waiting for them to get all the way up to the top. And then these are on 15%. So what we've got at the moment is we've got four of them right here. We've got Connor, Jordan, Gooseman X, and Divanj Mahajan. And we're ready to sell all of those four. So we want to go over this way jump to the pen over here and it's going to be the first thing that we're going to do which is not in this pen so I need to go over to this pen over here and we will do that in there so I've got Connor right there uh, let's move you over Jordan right there Gooseman X and Divanj Mahajan I'm selling you four and I'm going to get $188,900 from selling those. Okay. So now that i got those, I can go back and I can press R. And we've got... Uh, Patreon is the... Patreo is the done. Seal Brown. I've already got one of those. So you over there, back. Right. Petro is done. Talleyrand is seal brown. Alex is black. So that's those three there. And good gamer should be a bay. He is a bay. Right, so I want a grey. So I want to move a grey over. I want a pinto. I want a palomino. And I want a chestnut. So I want those four. Like that. There we go. There's the, brand, there's, there's the chestnut. The brand new one right there. Ready to go. So that's 20000 plus another 1200 in delivery charges. We've got $186,000 now. That's pretty good going. And I want to go... No, I don't want to do it like that, do I? I need to go through this menu now. And there, we've got Amethyst, Kismet, Opal, and Wings. They're the wrong names. I need to put the right names in now. And Edward Jasper is the last one. Oops. Nope. I'll get this right eventually. There, Edward... Typing is terrible today. Edward, what is that? <laughs> Told him my typing was terrible today. Let's try that again. Edward Jasper. There we go. Right. Dude Guy Man 131, Deva 2018, Scott M, and Edward Jasper. The next four names from the Great Book of Game are now secure in the game and being immortalized. There we go. So you guys have all been able to be featured in this series, and we will continue this on. For those of you who don't know about the Great Book of Names, it is a book. I write down people's names, and if your name gets featured in the book, then you get to appear in a series. Like this one, or like another one, it doesn't, it's sometimes not even Farming Simulator related. Uh, I don't want to do that, I'm going to press that. To get into the book of names, you need to go above and beyond what people would normally do. How do you do that? Either you become a very active member of the community through YouTube comments, uh, commenting a lot, helping others out, helpful advice, that sort of thing, um, regularly and for a while. I don't just mean two comments and then expect to get into the book. It, you do have to work for it. Or you can come in. Best option for that, if you, if you um, want to go down this route, the, the best and the single best option for anybody to use... Um, is to come and join our Discord server. Join the Discord server and you will be able to chat quite a lot and there's a lot of different things that you can do to help out with the community and so on and you will earn your way into the Great Book of Names. People have done so. Quite a few people in the book got there by going above and beyond for the community at large. Uh, the other way is to support me financially. If you choose to support me financially, it doesn't matter about the level of financial support. You can either do that via one of the live streams. I do a live stream every Friday evening. Um, you can come along and you can 
uh, join in with the chat and you can support me on there. You can join the channel membership. You don't think now, I don't think you even need to be on a live stream to get channel membership. You can just subscribe to the channel and it's not the normal subscribe. You can, you, you've got a subscribe button, but I think there is also a join, uh, a membership button down there as well. And that will... Um, I think that costs five pounds a month or five dollars a month or something like that um, and that's a financial contribution to me um, and that sort of that, that's the sort of thing that helps me keep going but you're making a financial contribution your name goes into the book and you don't get removed if you stop supporting me like via a monthly thing um, you know a monthly thing that is hugely hugely appreciated that's entirely up to you any financial support, a one-off payment, a, a one-off payment in the live stream, or if you, you can go to Patreon as well and you can support me on there. Any one-off payments that will earn you a spot in the book. And some people have just done one one-off payment in order to earn their spot in a book. And that is absolutely fine. That is what it is there for. Um, the, so there's two different ways that you can get into the book. Support me like that or you can support the community at large and uh, go for it that route so as i've always said before i have a policy i need to have those beacons on i have a policy where i don't want to hide things like my great book of names behind a paywall so if you're in the great book of names it gives you access to some pretty cool features that i have on the channel one of which is you get to join in on the multiplayer live streams. I do a multiplayer live stream with people who are in the Great Book of Names every other Friday. So once every two weeks on my Farming Simulator live stream, it will now be people who are featured in the Great Book of Names. So if you'd like to be able to come and join in with that, you do need to be on Discord to be able to join the live stream. Um, there is a link to that in the description down below. So it's not a difficult thing to do. It's very, very easy to set up. You don't have to use your real name at all. In fact, one of the rules we have on our Discord channel is that you are not allowed to share personal information. You're not allowed to give out your real name. Your full, you can give out like, um, your name is John. My, my first, my real first name is Craig. I don't give out more information than that. It is available on the internet. I know that you can go and look for it elsewhere on the internet. And it is possible to find my hometown. It's possible to find um, all sorts of stuff. Because um, once it's on the internet, it never disappears. But I don't publicly... I, I don't publish it. I don't publish it. I, I don't... I make a point of not publishing it. I keep it quiet. Um, and we do have a rule on our Discord that you are not allowed to go giving out your real name, your full real name, and um, sharing personal information, right? That's just a standard rule. If you make friends with someone, what you do in private messages to somebody is entirely up to you, provided you're both over 18. Um, but publicly, we do not allow the sharing of names and addresses and things like that. And we do have a good moderator team on our Discord who will actively remove any information like that. So you don't have to... I'm telling you all this because I'm trying to reassure you that I know some people don't like the idea of joining Discord. Um, it's private and it doesn't share any personal information. And we do not share personal information. We don't want your personal information. We're not interested in it. We only want to know your handle. What are you known as? What is your gamer tag? Because that's the name that we will call you. And beyond that, we don't want to know anything other than what you want to share publicly. A few photos of home life, if that's what you want to share. You might not want to. You might just want to talk about a game that you play. You might just want to come along and talk about Farming Simulator. These are all valid options, and we've got people that fall into all of these categories on the Discord. It's absolutely brilliant. There's a lot of people on there. We always have a laugh, and I would strongly recommend that you come. What are you doing? Honestly. Why would you think that that would be an acceptable thing to go and do? Start spreading our costly fertilizer and somebody else. Well, there we go, folks. I'm afraid that's it. We've run out of time, which means that we need to head on home. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.